it. If I was going to buy an Android tablet in 2014, I'd probably opt for a Samsung tablet. The reason being is that Samsung continues to make these really heavy refinements to its tablet interface. And with each new Samsung tablet, I know there's something cool and new and above all useful waiting for me. Which brings us to the latest Samsung tablet in the Note line, the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. This is a 12.2 inch behemoth, but it looks and feels like a modern Samsung tablet in all the best ways. It has a 2560 by 1600 resolution screen, a micro SD expansion slot, an IR blaster so you can use it as a remote control, micro USB for charging and file transfers as well. There's the faux stitching design from some recent Samsung products, and given that it has a 12.2 inch screen size, it's surprisingly thin and light. That said, if you have small hands, you may find it difficult to hold with just one of them. I always found it difficult to write comfortably on these smaller note tablets, but with this new larger one, I feel like I have almost enough space to work and my hands don't get so cramped when writing. There's an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash on the back and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. They're decent, but neither takes especially impressive pics. Overall performance is about on par with most premium tablets currently in the market. However, I was disappointed in what feels like a more narrow viewing angle than say the iPad Air or a Kindle Fire HDX 8.9. The screen's colors just don't remain consistent when looking from different angles, and it reflects quite a bit of its own environment as well. Samsung's TouchWiz interface has changed a lot over the last few years, and has only gotten better with each iteration, and this version is the best one yet. All the shortcuts and customization options are here. The amount of settings available is staggering, but Samsung keeps them all well organized. The new magazine UX interface is best described as having a widget-based front with Flipboard underneath, and that it actually uses Flipboard for its interface. You can customize the magazine UX to your liking and minimize its footprint if you prefer the traditional Android interface. There's also a ton of productivity software from WebEx Meeting to S-Note to E-Meeting, as well as free subscriptions to Business Week and the New York Times. The Note Pro starts at $750 for 32 gigabytes of storage, and the 64 gigabyte version is $100 more expensive. Check out my full review at CNET.com for more information and my final recommendation. I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. Thank you.